that's the competition winner. He's just received his jersey. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Just finished up with the first session of today. Uh, I did a workout on Zwift. I'm actually gonna do two sessions today. The second session is gonna be a road ride later on today, but uh, today was the first time I tried out erg mode with, with the smart trainer. And to give you a quick brief overview, erg mode, essentially what it allows you to do is when you go onto Zwift, you can create a workout. So you can say you're gonna do one hour with a 10 minute warm up, and then six times four minute intervals at, at, zone, at zone five, which is what I was doing today. And you can set that power. So for me, I set that four minute interval block at uh, 410 watts. So what erg mode does when you're riding along, uh, for that 10 minute warm up, it will automatically set your power in, in whatever power you've set for your warm up to be. So for me, I did about 130 watts. So the smart trainer automatically sets the power to 130. Therefore, when you pedal slowly, the, the resistance gets higher. And when you start pedaling faster, the resistance gets lower to keep in line with that 130 watt warm up. I hope this makes sense. And then when you go into your first interval, the trainer's resistance will automatically go right up to, to 410 watts to whatever I to whatever you set it as. And again, the faster you pedal, the easier the resistance gets. Essentially, it means you don't have to worry about the terrain on Zwift. You don't have to worry about going up an incline. It keeps a constant power and you don't have to worry about changing gears. All you need to think about is keeping the pedals turning. But now I'm gonna drink this recovery shake, go for a shower, and I think I'll lie down. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling a little bit sore after that morning session. And obviously, as I said, that's one of two sessions today. So later on, I'm heading out on the road. So I need to spend a few hours now recovering. And the best way to recover is by doing as little as possible. And the best way for me to do as little as possible physically is by doing something that I do every day or nearly, nearly every day. And that's editing the vlog. This way I can just sit here, keep my legs rested, do nothing. Let's do this. I have just realized that the music I used in yesterday's vlog was the same that Casey Neistat used in his vlog. Alright, vlog edited and uploaded, the grass is cut. Now I'm currently heading down to the Velo Cafe in Croston to drop off a t-shirt. The guy, John, who owns the cafe, bought a t-shirt, so I thought instead of posting it, I'll just go and drop it off. And then I need to walk the dogs before I go out training again in a couple of hours. Let's do this. <laughs> Alright. He wasn't here today. I should probably have arranged that beforehand, but uh, it is what it is. We'll come back tomorrow. Rest time is over. Even if I want to rest, these dogs never, these dogs never want to rest. never know what you're going to find. Alright, just rolling out for session number two. And I decided today's going to chain gang. It's about a 40 minute ride out, a one hour chain gang and then a 40 minute ride home. So in total the ride should be 
just over two hours. Gives me a total of about just over three hours of riding for the day. And to be honest, I'm looking forward to riding with people for a change. I always go out training on my own, so every now and again, it's nice to just go out with a, a group of people. This chain gang's normally a pretty good one. You know, they get a decent turnout usually, and especially on a good night like tonight, it should be a good ride. Solid chain gang tonight. It was a little bit quicker than I thought it was going to be, but quicker means better. Two real solid training sessions today. I'm happy with that. Now it's a race with the sun to try and get home before sunset. The format of a chain gang pretty much is what it says on the tin. It's two lines of riders riding in a chain like formation. So on the right hand side, you've got the fast lane and on the left hand side, you've got the slow lane. So you move up the fast lane, take your 10 second turn on the front and then pull over onto the slow lane and let the next rider come up past you. It's great training because what it does, it simulates sort of being in a breakaway in a race where you learn to do that hard, intense effort, then you pull off, take a rest, then come back around and take your turn. Thus, chain gang. The sunset beat me. Hold on. Oh, that's better. There was one guy there tonight that said, you look small in your videos. I thought you were a lot smaller than you were. So if anyone else thinks I'm small, I'm six foot two. I'm not that small. But that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.